Yo guys, Rethink Solutions here. I just wanted to go over the best OBS settings for the lowest latency and the best performance as far as for recording and streaming. So let's go ahead and start off by clicking settings in the bottom right here. Let's go and head over to output here to the left. And let's change output mode to advanced. So for streaming here, let's go ahead and leave this on this. And we're going to jump into the proper settings. Now here, change your video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H.264 if you have an NVIDIA card. Or the AMD equivalent if you have an AMD card. Or if you just have an integrated graphics card and you don't have a GPU, you can put it on X264. But for NVIDIA cards, let's keep this on NVIDIA NVENC H.264. Rescale output, I like my streams to be in 1080p, so I'm just going to leave that alone. You can go ahead and drop this down to about 720p if you'd like, or even 864 for better performance. Keep your rate control on CBR. Bit rate for about 1080p recording and streaming, you can keep it about 6,000 bit right here if you have a decent computer. You can even drop it down to about 4,000 if you'd like as well if your computer's a bit worse, as well as your internet. Keep your keyframe interval on zero. Preset here. I like to keep mine here on slow, slow, good quality. If you'd want, you can turn it up a bit depending on your computer specs. If the worst uh, computer you have, uh, you can go to P1 and uh, keep trickling down the list there depending on uh, what quality preferences you guys would like and the de depending on what PC you guys have as well. So uh, for my instance, I have a pretty good PC, so I'm going to keep mine on P5 slow. So I have an i9-2070 uh, Super here. So whatever you guys have, or if you have better, you can keep it on slow or even slower or slowest if you'd want as well. If you're trying to record some, uh, some HD stuff for real. So let's go ahead and keep this on slow here though. Tuning. So if you're playing a game like Fortnite or Call of Duty or something like that, you want the input lag to not be affected too much by your stream. I like to keep mine on low latency. Uh, you can even play around with ultra low latency if you would want. Uh, if the quality is sufficient for you, then you can keep it on ultra low latency. But for my preferences, I like it on low latency. Multi-pass mode, let's keep it on two passes here. Keep the profile on high here. And then let's go ahead and jump into recording at the top. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hit apply in the bottom right there. So let's hit recording at the top here. So let's go ahead and keep the standard type. You can change your recording path as well. I like to keep mine here. It's where your videos are going to be going to. Let's go ahead and change the recording format to MP4, as this is the most used one. Your video encoder, if you have an NVIDIA card, let's put it on NVIDIA NVENC H.264. This will make sure that the OBS and streaming software is putting pressure on your graphics card and not your CPU. So let's go ahead and keep it this. Audio encoder, we can keep it on AAC. One audio track, you can add more if you'd like. Rescale output, I like to record in 1080p. So, but you can drop it down if you'd like, depending on your specs. The lower you go, the better performance. Custom mixer settings, leave it alone. Automatic file splitting, leave it alone. Rate control, keep it on CBR down here. Your bit rate, if you want about 1080p, so let's go ahead and put it on about 6,000 here. You can play with this and turn it higher or lower, depending on your internet as well as your computer performance, but 6,000 should be the nice sweet spot, sweet spot for most people. My apologies. And then uh, let's go ahead and check preset here. So we can keep it on slow. If you want your game recording to be a bit better quality, you can do slower and then go to streaming here and then put this on medium quality if you want to do both at the same time, but it's really up to you guys. I'll just keep them both on slow for now. Uh, tuning. Uh, I like my recording to be high quality, but you guys can go ahead and go back to the low latency and ultra low latency modes if you would like as well. So multi-pass mode, let's keep this on two passes. The profile is going to be on high, GPU zero, max frames two. Now, if you guys wanted to clip your gameplay, you'd be able to go to replay buffer at the top. Click on enable replay buffer and set your clip length. So if you guys just hit a nasty clip on Fortnite or something like that and you want to keep it on 30 seconds, I'll show you guys how to bind this as well. So after changing everything, let's go ahead and hit apply. You, you can change your clips uh, seconds to however you want. So let's go ahead and jump into video here. So let's keep this base cam's resolution on your monitor's resolution. Mine's 1080p, so I'm going to leave it here. Now your scaled resolution. You can drop this down if you'd want to. 
Um, like I said, I like everything I record and stream to be in 1080p, but depending on your specs for better performance, you can drop it down to about 864, or 720p, or 810 even. Now, the downscale filter, you guys can, so for instance, if you drop this down to 864 here, and you want it to still be quite sharp, you can go ahead and click on this and change it to Lanskos. So you guys can drop it down and then change it to Lanskos. So if you were to drop down the output scale resolution, make sure the downscale filter is on Lanskos. So for my instance, I just like mine on 1080p, but if you guys have a worse computer, don't be afraid to drop it down. It'll still look great. Keep the FPS on 60 and then hit apply. Now hotkeys, I'm gonna show you guys how to clip your softwares or whatever game clips you hit. Let's go to hotkeys here. You're gonna see this key here, start replay buffer. So I like mine to be like shift Y and then you'll hit apply. So now every time you hit shift Y, it'll clip the last 30 seconds or however long you guys made it in the replay buffer section here. And then as far as advanced, let's go ahead and process priority. Let's put this above normal here, especially if you have a more beefy PC. This is going to prevent your streams from crossing or your recordings from being like choppy or buggy at all. And it's going to make sure that OBS has priority to make sure whatever you're outputting is going to be recording and streaming properly. So keep it on above normal, above normal and then hit apply there. Alrighty guys. So that's the best OBS settings for streaming and recording that I have sound. Uh, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This you guys. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying, but thanks guys. See you later.